Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED, and the 5 is silent. Here with the beer review, this is Too Hopped to Handle. It's an Imperial IPA from High Heel Brewing in Clearwater, Florida. High Heel Brewing is uh, founded and owned and operated by Christy McGuire. So uh, here's a blurb from the site. It says, it is amazing to see the incredible growth of new breweries and beers particularly through the influence of women in craft brewing and goes on with a little more. So that's, that's, that's interesting and exciting to see more of that happening, you know, to share the, the craft beer world with our, uh, our ladies. Um, this one, the description says this, this citrusy American IPA is hopped with four varieties and embellished with Belgian candied sugar in the brew kettle for a bright finish. So, that's probably where some of that 8.4% comes from, is that uh, extra little sugar in the kettle. So anyway, I want to open this and get started with it. I will tell you a little bit about the uh, the ratings. There's there's hardly any, there's only 14 ratings on Beer Advocate, only nine I think it is over on um, Rate Beer, and there's the rating on Beer Advocate. It rates a 3.99 out of 5. Now remember, that's only 14 people. And then on Beer Advocate, uh, there were only 9 people and there is no rating. Um, if you scan through, you see 3.3, 3.6, 3.7, 3. So, but on Untapped, there are 1,954 unique entries here and it rates a 3.65. So, not bad overall. And especially, uh, I'm imagining a relatively young brewery over there in uh, in Lakeland. So let's pour the. Oh, it looks hazy already. <clears throat> Let me get some more in there. And it's a nice. You can see it on there. It's uh, for a double IPA. It's a little on the light side. Plenty of carbonation. It is. It is cascading upward off the bottom. That's an amazing amount of carbonation being released right now. And it's good to release that. I read an article recently that you should make sure you pour your beers such that you get a decent head on there. You're seeing a lot of that carbon dioxide release because if you don't release the carbon dioxide, you drink the carbon dioxide. And that means lots more gas in your belly. That can uh, cause bloating and discomfort and later on other activities. So anyway, uh, that's an amazing amount of carbonation. I don't know if it shows on the camera there. I can sure see it with the light coming through there. But uh, has formed a definite four-finger head, nice and dense, um, very spongy-looking microfoam on there. And I'd say the color, well, the color is a like a dark yellow. And using my SRM scale, it's going to come in right around six. So about a six on the SRM scale, you know, looking through here. And let's smell it. Def oh yeah. Definitely the got a little bit of foam on the lip there and I can taste it already. But definitely getting the, uh, the citrus part of that coming through. I'm gonna try to taste it. It's gonna be fun trying to get through all that. Plenty of hop bitterness. Definitely got plenty of bitterness. It's got the um, it's got the nice uh, bready malty uh, flavor coming through. Which in a double IPA, an imperial IPA, it's nice to have that uh, that balance because normally there's lots of everything used uh, more than the normal amounts of uh, about one and a half times I read recently to do a good imperial IPA. You're roughly going to uh, go for about one and a half times the amount of malt and hops and, you know, the ingredients just to uh, make it imperial, make it a double. So, I don't know why they don't call it a 1.5 instead of a double. And we definitely get the, again, it's a combination of citrus, um, mostly lemon with some grapefruit and some, some orange. And if there's other fruit in there, um, it's definitely predominantly a citrus. I've had plenty more that are more citrusy, but that's what really seems to uh, predominate. So I don't know what four hops they used, but certainly 
at least one that was citrus uh, forward. Mm. Mouthfeel is a little higher than medium, but not like some double IPAs. It's it's good, but the bitterness it predominates. I mean, it is or dominates. It's predominantly dominant. Um, the bitterness definitely is there, and it stays there. I mean, I've got hot bitterness all over sides, back, middle of my tongue. Not that that's a bad thing. You expect that in an American IPA, which this is. I think my tastes, my preferences uh, for regular consumption of IPAs, I've, I've kind of come down a notch over time as far as how much bitterness I'm looking for. I used to try to find the most bitter thing I could because it was so shockingly new and refreshing. And now, because it's a regular thing to have one or two beers a day, um, and IPAs and double IPAs being my preference, to not have that one characteristic be so forward, which is why I seek out uh, New England IPAs whenever I haven't found any locally. I shouldn't say any. have not found any in the stores yet locally. There's some local breweries that are doing them. And once I start brewing again uh, this summer, I will definitely be looking to do uh, more New England style IPAs. And even if I don't do a true New England IPA by the book, I will do again what I did for a rye IPA that I did, and that is, now I'm getting off into the home brewing and water chemistry here for a moment, so bear with me. If that's not your interest, I'll just make it quick. I took a, a, a I will call it a standard rye IPA recipe, and I reversed the sulfite to chloride, sulfate to chloride ratio. Normally in an IPA, especially where you're going for hot bitterness, you want your sulfate high and your chloride low. Whereas in a New England IPA, you're going for that soft mouthfeel and lower bitterness. You reverse that and you go with like a two to one ratio of chloride to sulfate. So you use calcium chloride and a lot less um, uh, sulfate containing um, compounds. And what that does is it mutes the bitterness of the hops and it gives it that real soft mouthfeel, like rain soft, like water softener. And uh, that was a treat. That that one that I did. So I, I will be doing that again. And that's kind of, you know, if I were going to focus in on anything as a preference, it would be a little bit less bitterness and that softer mouthfeel for a while. Anyway, that's it. I got off topic slightly. This is Too Hopped to Handle by High Heel Brewing out of uh, uh, Cl uh, Clearwater, Florida. And this is Fred, F-R-5-E-D, over and out. <laughs>